So the system is both complex and simple. Uh, the idea is that we use acoustic sensors and seismic sensors to measure the energy that a bomb releases when it impacts the ground. We then use that information to locate the bomb and determine if the bomb has exploded or not. When we first heard about the unexploded ordnance tracking system, uh, we were a bit blown away by how innovative it was. The idea for this came from a capability gap we noticed. In my previous role in air weapons ranges, my colleagues and I were exploring various options for unexploded bomb detection. The other thing that struck us about it was the cutting edge science and the fact that it was a completely different way of looking at an age old problem. So this system is a combination of off the shelf parts and 3D printed parts. We had to keep design risk to a minimum. So we use a lot of off the shelf printed circuit boards, um, off the shelf uh, phantom power units and microphones. But a lot of this other structure that you see, a lot of the orange and black bits and pieces, they're all 3D printed. Um, and that was out of necessity because we couldn't buy a structure like this on the market. Throughout this project, I've found that we've managed to overcome hurdles. We've learned a lot, but for every hurdle we overcome, we find several more. Now for that, we need to lean on others for their knowledge and expertise. So I've been leaning on ANU and UNSW and the academic field within there. And they have been absolutely essential to this project. We think this prototype is the first one of its type in the world. So it could even have implications for other forces. To see your idea become something tangible is unreal. If you are excited about something, don't be scared of failure, just do it. I can't thank Jericho enough for giving me an opportunity that I never really thought existed. So to say I'm happy is an understatement.